Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a beer kegerator out of an old refrigerator. The tools that you need is I bought a kegerator kit from eBay for 50 bucks. It does not come with the regulator, CO2 tank, or the keg, of course. So, 50 bucks for the kit. <clears throat> tools that you need is a quarter inch nut driver, fill up screwdrivers, and a screwdriver, a 7 8 hole cutter, a drill, tape measure, and a felt pen, and a pot for hot water. I'll show you what that is for later. <clears throat> Here's the main tool we need. We need an old refrigerator. I bought this off my brother-in-law, so you can find them on Craigslist, offer up. So, first thing we got to do is we've got to gut it out. You have to gut everything out that's in there, so the keg and the CO2 tank will fit in there. So you got to get rid of any groceries or whatever you have in there. <clears throat> so, I have to get rid of uh, this stuff so I can fit, I can fit a keg in here. So I don't have to get all that stuff off of here. Okay. Let's see here. So, now what we're going to do is put in our faucet. So, if Sammy can bring me the closet, Sammy bring me the closet. A little bit here. So here's what we have to do. And bring me the handle, Sam. So I got a um, handle, which is Michelob Ultra Light handle, because that's the that's the keg I'm gonna get for this. So I had a friend that made one of these, and his problem was, he told me that. His handle was too high that he couldn't open his freezer door, so we have to make sure we bring it down low enough so our door is clear. This is a seven and a half inch handle, which is a shorter one. So that way, inside the freezer door, we're gonna put our, our glasses, our mugs, keep it frozen, so when you get your nice cold refreshment, it'll work. So, if Sammy can hold that, hold that for me. What I have to measure, I measured the length of the handle. So here we go here. And it was at 16, so I got the measurement. Uh, get that felt pin for me, Tim, please. So I already measured it, and my hole came out to right here. Um, Sam, bring me the drill, please. Seven eighths, seven eighths hole saw, like I told you guys earlier. how I cut out, I had to make it a little bigger. So, um, so now that my hole is right, it's a seven eight. Remember that guys, that's very important. And I put my faucet right in there. So it's gonna work. See, I already measured my door to that perfect clearance. Then I'm gonna have to put the nut that came with the kit on here. And then just tighten her up. There we go. All right, there we go. Got that pretty tight. I'll, I'll tweak it a little later. I'll get it right. So now we got our spigot here. Now what we're going to do is I think I'm going to put in my little drip drain here. Okay, now i got my drip drain here. I already pre-measured, uh, so got my two marks right here. I got my drip drain in. Got my, my handle ready to go. My drip drain, whenever it fills up with beer, we empty it out. Look at that. We got that. Get that measuring tape now. So we got this part. The front of the refrigerator is pretty much done. I'm just going to put my logo up here. I'll, I'll show you guys how I do that a little later. Show you guys how you hook up the hoses to the beer cup. Okay. 
That is uh, one of the easiest things that you do. It's like any, any egg um, that you hook up, you got to hook up. This is for the CO2 tank. It's the red. And then the clear hose is for your beer. It hooks up to the top of the tumbler. What I did here when I told you I needed uh, hot water to hook it up, it's easier. Do you try to get these hoses on this? This is real hard, so if you get it kind of hot. So I heat up the water. You heat it up to 212 degrees, okay? 212. Once it's there, I'll show you how easy it'll be to put these on. I got these uh, hose clamps here, the quarter inch nut driver, the red one. That's the one. Heat it up. The kit comes with the hoses already pre-sized for you, so. So you leave it in there, I would say, 60 seconds to, to one minute, whichever you prefer. Yeah, I heard that. Okay. That's been about 54 seconds. I got six more seconds and then we'll, re we'll pull it out. There it is, 60 <laughs> seconds, guys. Now I pull out. First, I'm going to do the CO, uh, the CO2, is the gas. So you put your little radiator clamp here. The hose is nice and, and soft, so it's going to go on fairly easy. Make sure you get it on all the way. See that? Fairly easy. Then you get your clamp. Quarter inch nut driver. Make sure this is tight. This is where your, where your CO2 is, so it's got to be pretty tight. Not bad. Now, you, now your uh, beer side is on the top. So remember, on your make sure you put the hose clamp on first on the top. See how easy that slides in. Once you get your water, you heat up any hose, it will work. A lot easier to get on here. I mean, it's still, it's still, you still can get it cold, but it, you heat up some water, man, it makes life a lot easier. So now. That's how simple this is. This is your keg comper. It goes on your keg. This is the beer side, CO2 side. Okay. Now, on the other side of the hose, I heated it up to, like I said, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I'm going to put on the regulator side and the faucet side. Same, the same way. Look up your, you get your, um, Hose clamp. Right on this side. Okay, we, we can add it, right? Okay. Now, we get it nice and tight there. Okay, now, the regulator side. If Sammy can bring me the regulator. Here's my regulator that I bought. I had to find it on uh, offer up because I didn't buy the kit. So, same way. Hose is nice and warm. Slide right off. See that? Right on there. Okay. Quarter inch nut driver. Okay. We're ready. There's only the only thing I need now is the keg and the CO2 tank. I don't have a keg yet. I'm gonna pick one up tomorrow. Take the day at bed mode and I got my CO2 tank that I, I've had for a while. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is we're gonna hook up the CO2 tank. Part you need this C60 washer. Make sure you get that or, or it'll leak. Crack 
Let's make it. Let's make it. Let's make it up. Nice and tight. Now, we're going to tap the cake. Okay, I got my keg hooked up, CO2 tank hooked up. I set the CO2 tank to 11 psi. We have a 15 gallon keg. You can get about 160 12 ounce glasses out of there beer. So do the math, see if it's worth it. In here, I have my frozen mugs. So now we're getting ready to pour our first beer. We're going to test this out. Alana, hit the music. watching my tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and share my video and comment down below if you guys want me to make any other videos okay.